Stick-tastic fans, we are back again with another episode of our Pokemon Digimon Emerald Versus. I am joined with the fastest man, Electric Stick-tastic. Zip! 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 Uh, that threw me off guard. Uh, <laughs> yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Electric Jazz Cat here, uh, with my best friend, Takai! Um, <laughs> we'll bring you with Digimon Emerald versus. <laughs> Are we doing this? We're just doing it different episodes now. Uh, <laughs> Last episode, we, um, we did some stuff. Who was messaging me? Oh, somebody just went live on Twitch. Um, anyway, let's get started. You ready, Sticky? Yeah. Three, two, one. Let's go! I'm gone. Let's go! <sighs> Alright. I don't remember why, but for some reason I always hated fighting this trainer in the original Emerald Sapphire Ruby games. I don't know why. You know, like, playing Emerald or just listening to the sound effects and, like, music on, um this game just reminds me of my time when I first encountered an emulator in my early years and just playing Digimon like not Digimon Pokemon Sapphire um mm. come here come <laughs> sorry come here <laughs> <laughs> um but like it just it, it brings me so much like nostalgia I remember me and my neighbor used to play i would play sapphire he would play emerald and trying to figure out how to like verse each other on one pc like bringing a save file over to someone else's or like trying to wi-fi link up or something like that there mm -hmm. was um very hard it was very hard to do but i didn't know if the emerald did have that option but we're here and i love it it's, yeah. it's love i remember going on such a journey to link up with um my cousin but I also mm. wanted to trade my Pokemon from, like, you know, Fire Red to Emerald and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. And so, I also had a Game Boy Pocket in my life, too. And, oh, as you know, you can put Game Boy Pocket and Game Boy Color games in the Game Boy Advance. And it will play them. Yes. Right? Yes. So, naturally, since that's the case, the Link cable for the Game Boy Pocket would also fit in a Game Boy Advance. If you were both playing like, you know, mm. red and blue and your Game Boy Advance and you wanted to do a trade, you could do it, you know? Am I gonna finally lose mm -hmm. a Digimon? Okay, no. Um, oh, man, got my heart. <laughs> okay, all right, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I can't. He was hitting a move that hit more than once and I'm like, is it gonna go five times? But it stopped, so. Ah, um, see. So, I already had one for the Game Boy Pocket from my older brothers, mm. and um, when I was visiting my grandparents, I was like, "Yeah, you know, because they, they, they were that's they were the best. You know, they're both they're both gone now. They're they're resting in peace. R.I.P. Um, but they were the the best grandparents you could ever ask for. You know, and Aww. pretty much like every time you'd visit them, it's like, you know, what can I get for you, sweetie? Like, you know, like get mm. get like a souvenir with grandma and grandpa, right? And I was like, well, I have a Game Boy Advance. My parents won't let me get a DS. How about I get a Link Cable? <laughs> you know, so well, I can I can go. trade in battle and stuff with my cousin. Because see, what the heck kind of Digimon is this? Dracomon? Dracomon? Oh. Started to hail? He's, he's, he's your next evolution in Cyber Sleuth, I think. Um, he's pretty dope. Not going to lie. It's pretty dope. It. The dark. He looks dark. dark. And fighting. They be dark, dark and fighting. And... Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> we went to like Target and Walmart and all these places to look for this cable, and they didn't have one, because I guess apparently they they were like sold out. They were like very popular, and um, we went to some like spinoff place. It was kind of like a GameStop, but like they had. Mm. They were more known for like having older video games too. I think I don't know because it didn't seem like it was an actual like name brand place. I and I, I do not remember what it was called because this was mm. such a long time ago. Um, let's see, what do I name this guy? Um, I need to rename one of mine. I got two lemons on the field and it's like level lemon leveled up. Which lemon leveled <laughs> up? <laughs> name it Jake. 
Um, Jake. And so we were, I, I knew technically what the cable looked like because I like saw it once from my other cousin on my mom's side, but the cousin I was hanging out with was on my dad's side, which is also the grandparents that, you know, mm. we went to see a lot was on my dad's side. And so we saw a full on pink cable and uh, I was Ooh. like, I don't <laughs> think that's it. And the lady working there didn't know either, clearly. It must have been like her first day or something, you know? Just a pink cable. And, I don't know. And so I brought, my, I brought my Game Boy Advance with me, or maybe we used like mm -hmm. one that was there. And so my grandfather was like, why don't we test it and plug it in and see if it fits? And I was like, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I think it's going to fit. But in reality, it's not going to work. <laughs> and so yeah. we plug it in and he goes, oh, it fits. And I'm like... I don't know. This doesn't seem mm. right. Because for those of you who don't know, if you're not old like me and Sticky, the link cable for the Game Boy Pocket was one cable mm. to the other one. Simple as Correct. that. But for the Correct. Game Boy Advance, player one was purple, and it had a certain way that it went in the, um, the Game Boy Advance. But then the other part was gray, and it was like slightly fatter and looked more like... Um, how do I describe it? Oh, more like a like, 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 like kind of like an HD for the GameCube, GameCube port. Say that again. You cut out. Uh, it was like a GameCube port controller. No. No. Okay. But in addition to its two things, and it would show demonstrate who was player one and who was player two, it had a hmm. a little box in the middle of it with a port that you could plug in, and that's because if you bought another cord you would take the part mm. that was player one and it would go in that box and then the part that was player two could go in another Game Boy. And so the uh, idea was if you had, I think, what, three of them? Um, mm. Every purple one would always go into a box except for player one would go in the actual Game Boy and then the other gray ones would connect to the other Game Boys. Mm. Um, and I always thought that was cool. I never got to do it, but I knew that's how it worked. <laughs> um, so... So, so she's like, you know, my grandfather's like, you know, oh, it fits. And he goes, how much is it? And she goes, it's $9. And so once she said $9, I'm like, yeah, no way that's it. Because that is pretty yeah, cheap. Is and a, I think yeah. the Game Boy Advance was still pretty popular at that time. Mm. Um, I think I guess what came out, like, because my cousin had the um, the Game Boy, like, DSi or something like that. It was the Game Boy Advance, but it was like a floating. Uh, or, flo not floating. Yeah. The closing, like, it was like a little laptop. You know what I mean? Like uh, this. I'm, I'm just gonna trust Sticky because I can't see a screen. And I'm listening to Sticky and I stayed in a grass type. It went for ingrain, the loser. <clears throat> so I go, wait, so then we go back to um, to the house. Sorry, like, yeah, I just ruined your story there. <laughs> um. <laughs> and um, I, I, I test it out, I put the game in, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yeah, I knew it, it doesn't work. And I'm like, I'm sorry, Grandpa, I made you waste $9. And he goes, it's okay, we'll try again tomorrow. And I'm just like, okay. Um, so Let's then, um, where did we go? We went somewhere where we didn't go before. So like, we already tried a bunch of Walmart, Targets, all this and stuff. I think we went mm -hmm. to Best Buy, and um, we went to electronics section. And we, mm. you know, he's like, he's like, also make sure you bring your, you know, your Game Boy and stuff so you can, you know, see if it'll work and stuff. And we go to the electronics section and they had one left. Oh. And, and I was like, I'm like, that's it, that's it. I recognize it because I, I I've seen my other cousin have it because my other cousin yeah. like, usually like, had everything. And I'm like, that's it. And he's like, yeah, that's our last one. <laughs> so they were like flying yeah. like, like flies, Hot dude. Kicks, yeah. So popular. <laughs> And so then I get it, and then I plug it in, and I was like, yes, it's working! This is it! I'm so happy! So then I'm like, you know, I'm like, saying to my cousin, help me, you know, trade my Pokemon. Now I can have Charizard and Emerald, yeah. and, you know, I can have Rayquaza and Fire Red. It was so cool. Mm. <laughs> but what was also cool, too, in, in the Gen 3 games... I'm sorry, Sticky, I'm just talking the whole episode. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> you, you can talk. You can tell your story. We love um, to hear your stories. Oh, wait, this is not my encounter. I already got my encounter. Um, Shock Quill. If you did the, um, there were three things you could do in the Gen 3 games. There was battle, there was trade, and then there was also, like, a thing where you went in a room. Have you ever done that before? Mm, I haven't done anything of, like, the multiplayer stuff in any of these games, really. Okay. Um, only when it later. Uh, like, I've, I've done verses, and that's about it. Like, battling my cousin. And that's okay. pretty much it with the link cable. So, so basically, 
Um, you go, I can't remember exactly what it's called. I think it was called like a link room, something like that. Hey. But essentially what happens is everybody who goes in that room, and, and it was always just me and my, you know, my friend, either my cousin or my brother. It was never four of us because um, I never found more people with the, the, the link cable. But you go in the room and you set at this little desk thingy and it goes scanning, scanning, scan done. And I was like, mm -hmm. what the heck did that do? That was kind of weird. And I go, oh, and I, and I go about my day. Uh -huh. right? And so then my cousin's playing his, you know, Pokemon Sapphire. And then he goes into a house and he likes to, you know, read dialogue out loud. So he goes into a house and there's the TV is flashing on so you can talk to the TV. And he goes, this just in. EJ became the champion as he took out, you know, former champion so-and-so. And he used, you know, Shiftery and Rayquaza and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wait, how do you know that? And he goes, it says it right here in my game. And I was like, how does your game know that? Oh, what? Yeah, uh, and I was like cool. freaking out. I'm like, how does it know? Then later I was like, oh, when we went in that linking room, it gave yeah. the most recent information to other trainers. And so not cool. only did it do that and say like, you know, the latest news of the trainer or they took on, you know, the, the Elite Four, but if you made a hmm. secret base and you went to that said location and you didn't have a base made there, it gave hmm. that base to the person you linked the information with. Oh. And then, here's more, there's more. Whatever was Wait, your favorite, <laughs> your favorite, your trainer class that you like, that's how your mm -hmm. NPC character looked like sitting in the base. And huh. you could battle them, and they use the Pokemon that you took with you when you went in the room to link up. Oh, that's... See, like, that's the thing. Like, the multiplayer didn't explain too much unless you actually spoke to the NBCs or actually, like, played multiplayer way more uh -huh. than you should have. Um, and, like, I never, never got any of that, eh? Never got any of that. <laughs> I love the base gaming in this game, honestly. The base building was, mm -hmm. like, I spent hours on hours on yeah. even playing... I love same. Games. They're so good, and even even like the uh, remix as well with Ores, and so that was that was funny because um, it was so much easier to, to link up in that sense because it, you, mm. you did you uh, ever do like the street pass on the Nintendo 3DS? Yeah, yeah, I did do the street pass. Yeah, yeah. The, so if you've got the little the Wi-Fi thing on, it's in sleep mode, and you pass next to somebody, right? Yeah. Um, so that would happen like all the time with me and my brother. I think that's how mm. it happened. Maybe we, maybe we just it was regular battles, or somehow the thing, the game kept track. But it was funny because if I showed up to my brother's secret base, I'd be like, "Okay, let's battle," and it says he has one Pokemon, and I'm guilty of this as well. Um, his one Pokemon would be Marcargo, and mine for him would be Talonflame, because we were always breeding Pokemon for competitive. So we had somebody with like either flame body or magma armor to make our eggs hatch faster. <laughs> but then our secret base thing was like, oh yeah, let's see if you can beat me. And they send out, you know, this bad one on Pokemon. But at the same time, we would use it to our advantage. So like if we wanted to grind, we would say like, you know, mm. hey, can you use a bunch of these actual good Pokemon so that I can like get my Pokemon leveled up faster? So mm -hmm. it's very oh, cool. That's so cool. Yeah, that that's, is, that's why that's I love awesome. Gen 3 my favorite. Because in Gen 4, they still did secret bases, but to me, it wasn't oh, as was cool. Pretty crap. Like, it, was... it wasn't an actual... I don't know. You just, it was it underground. Wasn't a base. You could put like traps yeah. and stuff like that, but it wasn't an actual secret base, in my opinion. You know? No. Oh, so. that's stupid. Um, wait, is he here? Is the name Raider here? Is he in the next Name Raider is not until... Um, the, the, uh, the third what's it gym. called? The town before the seventh gym, before Ma's Deep. He's where the big mall is. Not the garage sale, but the actual, like, big mall. Or, like, where no, the last time Raiders you fight your rival. I found him. Oh, name Raider. I thought you said move to leader. Oh, no. Um. I'm gonna call you. Yeah. What should we call you? Let's call you... Soda. Uh... No. Uh... Blue, little, 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 Um... Leo, Leo, Leo. I can't think of a fruit off the top of my head that would be yellow other besides that lemon. Um... Let's go... Let's go rock melon. How about that? Rock melon. Rock melon should yellow in the center of it sometimes. Da, 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 da. 
How there we go. Rock melon. Did you get the berry jar? The berry jar. Mm, I guess not. That's okay. That's alright. I'm, I'm playing the game. <laughs> uh, let's see here. You. Ah, oh, stop pressing those buttons, Sticky. <gasps> them. Okay, let me just double check real quick, just in case. Encounter. There we go. Sorry. Ah, oh, don't really want you, but you'll be okay, I guess. Um. Oh, I don't know, Sticky. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What? What? Do I do I do the red digi egg or do I do the black digi egg? Both of them oh, work. You, you... Yeah, you're gonna. Oh. Forget, I'm going with the black uh, one. Black, black. You're gonna get black one. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Yeah, get black wall Greymon. Let's go. Let's go. What would you get? What you get? What you get? You would have got a War Greymon. Or maybe you got Skull Greymon. Nope. Alright. Oh. I kinda wish I did the other one now. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh. D.Tyranon? No, uh, Divi. Tyranon? Oh. What type are you now? Just dark. Dark poison? This was the thing that oh, supposedly would have gotten into Vmon. It oh, became yes. like a blue headed, two legged thing. And so I gave him the black digi egg, and now he's like a cute little dinosaur, but he's kind of big. I'll we'll have to go get a. Gosh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I said gosh. I said gosh. Gosh. I said gosh. Like goofy. Gosh! Oh, I forgot about this. Um, well, uh, come on now, Sticky. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go, Pluto! Roar, roar, roar. <laughs> Gorsh. Do I need to Can speak you do to Donald you? Duck? Huh? Can I what what? Can you do Donald Duck? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh, uh, just let me take on the next gym already, dude. Forget I have to do this bukkake stuff. Gasoman. Do this. That's the one that I did you vault. You asked me to pay. Just need to continue. Stop asking me to pay. To pay? Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah! You owe me. My man. Leader ladies. I love love muscle man. So funny. <laughs> muscle man. Oh, I see big hand. I see. I see what you mean, big hand. You know what they say about big hands? Big, big feet. feet. You know what they say about big feet? Stinky feet. You know what they say about stinky feet? Stinky armpits. You know what they say about stinky armpits? Stinky Just another keys. washed person. Oh. Now that's sticky pants. <laughs> Come on. Fun fact, did you know I actually have a Greymon toy back at home? Oh. And, I've got uh, some Digimon toys here. You can uh, move around his his uh, tail and it turns into Ooh. wings. And then his chest, you can rotate it inside out and then he ends up having like those... Um, <laughs> Like missile launchers for boobs, and then because um, he did, you're digivolving him and yeah, and then you the have he has like form. a little gray thingy in the back of his uh, back that you can take out and then it goes on top of his horn, a little silver thing. Yep. Yeah, so he, it digivolves his, from Greymon his, to Middle Greymon. And his arm, yeah, and his arm um turns inside out, and then it has like a a metal arm. Mmm. Middle Greymon was dope. Um, he was. Yeah, his, his booby missiles were cray. Missile launcher! Am I ever gonna use this? If you live a water pulse, I'll catch you. 
Okay. Oh, you missed! How oh, dare you missed! Oh, that was a bad die. Oh no. You know what? I'm just gonna heal. I don't want to lose another Digimon. Please don't lose another Digimon. Oh god, 40 more seconds. If you're in a battle, just finish it. Demi Devi Mo. Come on. I yeah. think this thing is technically good. Unless it digivolves, right? Yeah, digivolves into Dark. Dark. The Divimon and then Myotismon and then something else. My goodness, Rockmelon, can you stop missing? Alright. Uh, please hit. Alright, I didn't want those berries anyway, it's cool. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna have to switch over. And that's the timer. Are we finishing our battle? Yeah, I'm gonna finish our battle. Speed up if you need to. Yeah, I'm done. I just had to run away. <laughs> oh. What a shocker. No. Sorry. I just, oh. I've Sorry. seen 115 Sorry. Digimon in my decks. Nice. How many right, I'm gonna save seen? state here uh, because I'm halfway through a story at the moment. Uh, oh no. Are you gonna run away? Sorry. There we go. All right, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Just had to speed up. All right, cats. That's chat. gonna do it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, make sure to do something. Hit that like down below. Subscribe and share with your friends. If there's a Digimon you want to be named after, let us know, and we won't do it because this is way in advance. But if I find another <laughs> yeah. Agumon, I will actually know. If Braymon still stays alive, if I get to the go back to the name raider, I'll name it after Soda because he said Agumon's his favorite. Okay. Well, we'll name it after that. But yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace!